G'day, welcome back to the channel and Toolkit RC have released another charger. I hear you all yawning, but stop. I know they've made so many different chargers. There are so many to choose from. And generally speaking, they're pretty damn good. I, I use them a lot. I the, the four port charger I use extensively for charging my mini quad batteries because you don't have to keep, you know, plug in and unplugging batteries, just plug in four at a time, charge them up. It's working really well. I love that. The other field chargers, very, very useful if you're going out and doing a bit of mini quad flying. You just want to take a, a 6,000, a, a 6 cell 5,000 battery just to ch keep charging all day. It's fantastic. There are so many features and bells and whistles to these chargers. It's hard not to like them. And the small form factor is amazing. How many watts they get out of such a small form factor really is impressive. So this is the latest one. This is the M9 multifunction charger. It comes in a box. See? No, no, no. No one wants to see the box. Uh, but this is the charger. Now, I could say lots of things about this, but I think uh, I'll let the charger introduce itself. Let me just plug in a power source here. Listen to this. Did you hear that? Welcome to Toolkit RC. It talks. It's a talking charger. Just what everybody needed. A charger that tells you off when you do things wrong. <laughs> well, I guess that could happen. Um, yeah, here it is. And it's got a tilting screen. Look at this. The screen tilts up to quite an angle if you want it to. Um, you can see from the side, see? So it's got things you didn't know you wanted or needed built into it. How cool is that? Um, just to walk around, it's got a single XT60 on the back for your supply. I'm using a battery at the moment. You can use anything from, I think, from, I don't know, 3S to something else. Um, you, the specs are online. Go and look at the specs. I'm not here to be your mother. I won't tell you all the details like that. You can look them up yourself and feel proud that, you, that you've done it. But it's got another XT60 on the front here for the battery you wish to charge or the load because this is more than a charger. Yes, it's more than a charger. You knew that it'd be more than a charger in here because Toolkit RC does so much other stuff and they've sort of taken all their other products and put them into this into one single unit which is kind of good kind of cool um it has a normal toolkit rc interface it has a little scrolly wheel Woo listen to that noise not good um but the wheel itself it, some of the other toolkit charges that scrolly wheel has been really crap it's been as you try and push it sideways, it clicks and it just it hasn't been a very nice piece of user interface. Great idea, but poor implementation. They fixed it with this. This is so silky smooth and you, you're not going to accidentally press the button while scrolling it because it requires very little effort to scroll. Thank you for listening to that compliant toolkit RC. Um, that has made a big difference to the usability of the charger. So it only has two controls. It has the scrolly wheel and this little button up here. That's all you need. Super simple user interface. A nice bright color LCD. In fact, I've had to wind the exposure of the camera down to avoid this all blowing out so you, and then you wouldn't be able to read it. Um, also on the front panel though, we've got the usual balance pin array, you know, so you can plug in anything from a, a 2S to an 8S battery. Yes, this will charge up to 8S and it does 600 watts. Assuming, of course, your power supply can deliver 600 watts, this will charge up to 600 watts and discharge at 20 watts, I think, which is not much, but 600 watts of charging. It has another little connector behind here, which is for plugging in an ESC or um, plugging in uh, servos or a receiver, S bus receiver, because it does all those other things. It, it can act as an S bus signal oscilloscope or a PPM, PWM signal oscilloscope. It can generate signals, PWM, PPM, S bus, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's, it's a very versatile little bit of kit. It has also here a USB C, and I think it's 65 watts output on that USB C. So if you want to charge stuff in the field, your phone or something, you can do it through there. It has a standard USB connector there, which has the normal limitations of a standard USB, but that's there if you want it. Probably 2.1 amps, haven't checked. Um, it has a f well, holes in the side, how about that? And there's a fan somewhere, there's a fan, and the fan is not noisy like it has been on some of the previous uh, Toolkit RC products. I've got a, fans on some way and make a little bit of noise. This is nice and quiet, nice quiet fan. Um, and there's an SD card in the back here where you have obviously the files, because when I turned it on, it's customised RC model reviews and it has all the talkies. So I think all the voice and graphics files are on there, so you can if you don't like the voice, you can take that card out and it remains silent. It doesn't talk to you all the time. But um, because I imagine this is quite novel. I'm going to plug a battery in. You listen when I plug in a battery. Woohoo! Here we go. Battery connected. Battery connected. I would never have guessed that plugging something in there would connect the battery. <laughs> yes, I'm being a bit flippant. The voice thing, I think, is a little bit of a gimmick, but the processing power's in there. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't, just whip the SD card out. It will remain silent, except for this annoying noise. And 
some really loud alarm sounds. It's, uh, you probably don't want to use this at night if you are trying to charge batteries in the bedroom while the wife's going to sleep. She might get a bit annoyed with you because let's, let's, have, let's look at an example. Oh, battery disconnected, I know. I'm going to go to one of the options here. Um, what's it got? Measure resistance. Measure resistance. Here we go. Balance port disconnected. Did you hear how loud that was? Oh, let's try it again. Start. No, I don't want to start. Um, I don't want to go storage. I want to go here. No, what am I doing? Let's go back to... Oh, that's... Wait for it. Here we go. Measure resistance. Measure resistance. That's really loud. That's way too loud. That, that your wife would beat you over the head with the bedpan if you did that in the middle of the night. Um, and that noise happens with or without the SD card, the actual beep, 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 beep noise. So there should be some, maybe there's some way to silence it. Let's have a look. Let's hold this down. Input settings, security settings. Oh, personalization. Personalization. Ooh, look at that. You can do that. Oops, wrong one. Let's go down to here. What do we got? Battery selection, work completed, default. Ah, start balance volume. Start voltage. Oh, that balance start, work completed. Work completed. What does that mean? And. Hmm. Continuous work. I have no idea what any of this means. Battery selected. I have no idea what that means. I should look it up. Anyway, announcement volumes. I've got the volumes. Okay, beautiful. Warning volume. Let's turn this down to low. And let's, low. Try, let's try that again. Let's see if that happens again when I go to the... What was I doing? This one, was it? Yeah, still a bit loud for me. Can I turn it off? Let's see. I didn't check. Oh, we're all learning here. This is a learning experience. And I include this in the video because you're probably not going to read the manual either. And you want to know how easy it is to use something like this. Well, this is the way you do it. You, you fiddle around. This is how men make stuff work. We fiddle around. What do we got here? Personalization. Um, warning. Can we turn that off? Yes. Brilliant. So this is customizable. That's fantastic. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. This, this is a nice little bit of kit. Let me just show you some of the quick features we have in it. But you'll be able to get those off the thing. Measure so we've got resistance. internal resistance measurement. Let's actually plug a battery in and I'll demonstrate that for you. And she'll tell me when I've plugged the battery in. Wait for it. Battery connected. Battery's connected. Plug in the balance lead. And let's just do the measure resistance thing, shall we? There we go. So it's sucking... Two amps out of the battery. Measure resistance complete. And it's told us we've got 9.4, 11, 9.9, 9.9 9 for a total resistance of 40 milliohms. That's pretty good, pretty quick, pretty good. I like that. That's that's kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> what else have we got here? There's measure signal. Now that uses measure this signal. little signal port here to measure. You can do a PWM. You can do PPM. You can do S bus. So you've got the th three options there. So if you've got an S bus receiver, you can plug it in that little thing and you'll see all the channels move as you, as the signals come out of the receiver. Also, as often, it's quite hand handy for binding because you can just plug it in there and then hold the bind button down while you plug in the um, power. Bingo. You have got, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a way to power up your receiver and you can check and see that it's bound afterwards because you can watch the signals move. What else have we got? We've got signal output. So we can now put PWM, PPM, and S bus. And of course, if you're in something like S bus, you can then step down to the different channels and change the channel settings. So you can actually, you know, do whatever you like here. It's actually really, really handy. Um, ESC test. ESC test. I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. There we go. So, oh, that's charging the battery. We'll stop that. There we go. ESC, ESC test. test. I imagine you plug your ESC power into here and you plug your ESC control lead into there, your servo lead into there, and then this will show you the power flying through and so forth. Don't do it with the battery plugged in because it's going to push power into the battery which may charge it at too high a rate. Then you've got a power test which is the same power. thing, it's just it's going to act like a power meter. So everything you want, there's more too isn't there? We go down, yeah, um, USB information. So there's information about the USB thing, whatever you've got plugged in probably to the USB-C it will tell you how much um, how much current it's delivering and so forth and the protocol being used. So that's all we have. That's all we have. Fantastic. This is a, this is an, <clears throat> shut up. This is an all in one. Um, it's not just a charger. It's not, a, not just a 600 watt eight cell charger. It's all the other things that Tool Kadasi have popped out, you know, which is your, your, um, your oscilloscope for looking at the pulses from your receiver, your signal generator for 
checking out servos, a power meter, and a system for testing out ESCs. So it's everything in a box. I, I like it, I like it. Now, obviously, these are early days. I have learned many, many times that you can't judge something by first encounters. So this will go onto the charge bench in the front of the workshop here where lots and lots of people come in on very hot days and plug batteries in and charge them. And typically the temperature out there at this time of the year is about hovering around 40 degrees Celsius. So it's a real stress test for a little charger like this if it can handle the heat and also if it can handle dumb thumbs and people that don't know what they're doing. How easy will people um, find this to use? I'll get some feedback from those people. We'll put it to the test. We'll let every man and his dog use this and then if it blows up, because remember, I had a pre-production version of the four-port RC, uh, a toolkit RC charger, and one of the ports failed, and that was because it was pre-production. But we'll give this, this is a production unit, I believe, so we'll give it a real hammering, and if smoke comes out of it, I will tell you. And I'm kind of quietly confident that it will hold up to the test of time, and I'm so glad to see they've addressed issues like the little scrolly wheels. Fantastic. Brilliant. This is going to now become my number one piece of kit because it does everything. I don't have to have four or five different little things to do all that work. It's all in the one. There you go. Now, if you've got questions, comments, anything you'd like to see me do with this or whatever, um, please go down to the comments piece on this video and ask away and I'll do my best. I may do a live stream, a regular, start doing a regular live stream so people can ask me online live as we sit there and get bored exactly how things are going with a lot of the products I review and this will be one of them. So there you go, thank you for watching, thank you to Toolkit RC, they sent this in, I always disclose when I get stuff for free, this was sent for review purposes and I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, you make it possible for me to make these reviews without having to include a sponsorship and mid-roll ads and, and affiliate links and things, it's all just the information, just the knowledge, just my uh, observations and sometimes my opinion. There you go, thanks for watching, bye for now.